Hi, and welcome to Safety at the Frontline. I'm Jaren from Frontline Data Solutions, here to get you up to speed on the latest safety news. Before we start the last episode of the year, we want to wish everyone who listened in or joined the show the happiest and healthiest holidays. As for this week's news, a recent analysis of more than 650 safety data sheets found that 30% future inaccurate chemical hazard warnings while 15% failed to warn about the chemical's ability to cause cancer. Two companies, Blue Green Alliance, a national partnership of labor unions and environmental organizations, and Clearia, an online app that notifies of unsafe ingredients in commonly used products, conducted this analysis. One example they provided regarding the inaccuracy was that an SDS for vinyl chloride, which the International Agency for Research on Cancer has classified as a group 1 known human carcinogen, warned of skin, eye, and respiratory irritation, but lacked any mention of cancer. In other news, Doug Parker of OSHA recently issued a statement about the 2021 census of fatal occupational injuries. Regarding the statistics, he stated that the one-year increase of nearly 9% in fatal work injuries serves as a call to action for OSHA employers, and other stakeholders to redouble the collective efforts to make workplaces safer. He continued that in 2021, 5,190 workers suffered fatal work injuries. This means one worker's death in the U.S. every 101 minutes, including 653 Black workers whose fatality rate hit an all-time high. Black and Latino workers also had fatality rates disproportionately higher than their co-workers in 2021. These, as he also notes, are deeply troubling facts. And the last news of the year. OSHA is reminding employers of the upcoming window to submit their 300-day form. Between January 2nd and March 2nd, businesses with 250 or more employees and those with 20 to 249 employees in certain high-hazard industries must electronically submit their 300A form. The data can be submitted in three ways via the Injury Tracking Application website, either manually by uploading a CSV file or an application program interface. Also, be advised that a new login procedure using login.gov went into effect in October 2022. Make sure to look into it if you haven't. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast for more EHS updates. And in the meantime, stay safe and stay tuned for next year.